Hey up everybody, how the devil are we all doing? It's the nonchalant geriatric. I mean, it's just getting worse every week, isn't it? Anyway, today we're going to be building a cabin. And what's this cabin going to be at this moment in time? I have no idea. So we're just going to build it and then see what we come up with at the end. How does that sound? So we're going to need a location, aren't we? And if you watched last week's video, this place is going to be familiar to you. Yes, we are at the tightrope viewing platform cliff place. I don't know the correct way to describe it. Like I said, I don't know what we're actually going to be doing here we are going to be building a cabin but i don't know the theme of what we're going to throw inside of it but to me this area looks like somewhere where you could do some extreme sports yeah you know, tightrope walking or pushing your nan off the edge of a cliff at Claimer Inheritance. You know, that kind of family-friendly fun. Let's start with some foundations. Now, I want to line up these as best I can to this little viewing platform. The easiest way of doing it is to use one foundation set further back to line up the rest of it, if that makes any sense. You can see it in video here. And after a millennia of messing around, you should be able to get it so all the foundations line up in kind of an L shape around this viewing platform. That's the kind of thing you're going for. It can be a little bit tricky, but you will get there, trust me it's quite forgiving the terrain around this area now what i want to do is make it look like this whole entire building has been covered by a landslide and it's half buried in the hill so to do that we're gonna have to go underneath the map Ooh, scary and the way we're gonna do this is by putting down a random foundation just a little bit further away from our build snap down some stairs to said foundation and he'll do it doesn't matter grab ourselves one of the door mats you know them things that you wipe your feet on and then we're gonna slap down a symptomatic on top of that mat until we can grab the mat and move the symptomatic with it Simple, isn't it? We're then going to take our glitch matic and put it on the second step of the stairs. We can then grab our level bridge of 3000s and snap them to the side of this foundation here. And then, with any luck, you should be left with something like that. Stairs going into the ground with a symptomatic sticking out of the top. Enter the symptomatic and then you're underneath the map. Now, if you've never seen underneath the map before, get ready. How beautiful is that? It's simply simply stunning. Nope, it really isn't. But there is plenty of room for activities. From these stairs, we're going to snap down some of the little half floors. These go down a lot easier than the full-size ones. And they're going to want to snap to the back of the stairs, so just let it do its thing. It's fine. Let it go where it wants to go. And in total, we're going to put three down, just like this. We can then switch the full-size floors and run them down the back of our foundations. And if you've got it lined up right, they should line up perfectly with the foundations. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to keep this simple. I'm just going two floors wide, but if you wanted to, you could make it a hell of a lot bigger obviously it depends on your camp radius as well some of you may be thinking tng you've been a very naughty boy building under the map you're ruining the game's stability well no i'm not because the game doesn't have any stability to start with so that's fine but on a serious note i've never actually come across any problems caused by building under the map sure if everybody on the server did it it may be a different story but that would actually require people to be on the server so yeah nothing to worry about there is there anyway once you've got your floors down you can start building your walls I'm going for the log cabin walls because we're building a cabin. And I'm going to make it two full walls high, just like this here. Now, when you come to the bit where the foundations are, then you're going to have to use half walls. It won't let you snap in a full-size wall for some unknown reason, but it will let you put in half walls. And to finish up this section, I'm going to make a different entrance. So I'm just going to place down some stairs here. Mm-hmm, simply, simply lovely. And we're going to use the rug trick again, but this time we're going to put down a base. I think that's a base, or is it a cello? I don't know. So just give me a second to check which way around this should be and i'll be back in a second right then so it needs to be chair side facing the wall so let's just go ahead and move this here and we're going to put it on the third from the top step down or is it the second from the top step down just have a bloody walk and now all going well if we go back to the top of the map and interact with the base we should go underneath the map yep beautiful and if we come back to the top again and we take a look at what we've done this is the effect that you should be left with doesn't look too bad does it now that we've got our main staircase in, we can get rid of this little side one that we put the symptomatic on and it's quite simple to do all we're going to do is go back under the map for a third time i know it's getting quite repetitive isn't it and we're just going to start deleting the initial four pieces that we put down these ones here and eventually as we work our way back we should get to a point where we can delete the stairs simply simply lovely and just as a quick side note if you do want to get to the above world again just jump through the terrain it's as easy as that so this next bit well there's nothing to it to be honest with you we're just going to make a pointed roof the two outer walls we're going to put down some top arches simple as that the middle two walls we're going to put down some half walls and again finish them off with top arches and that's pretty much it you're basically making a triangle i mean i can't explain it any clearer than that this is what you should be left with you may be able to see some roofs on there as well don't bother doing that just yet and instead focus your attention on putting down some porches here so i'm literally deleting these foundations we've got at the front and putting down log cabin porches 
Jobs are good, then. Now, for this last foundation here, I want a railway off, but I want to use a railing that actually looks like a railing and not a bunch of planks cobbled together. So, to do that, we're going to delete the foundation, put down a porch, and then put in the defensive rails for this porch set. Now, once we've done that monumental task, we can delete the porch set and put down a normal foundation. There you go. Railings are still there. Unfortunately, the railings are doing the opposite of the Titanic and the floating, so we've got to do something about that, haven't we? And to sort out this issue, we're going to use the picket fence post. Jesus Christ, my pot filter's working overtime at this point. Nope, it's not effective at all. Once you've got your posts, stick them down on the edge of the railings like this, and then we're going to try and sink them down into this foundation. Obviously, we can't use the pressure plate merge glitch, so we're going to have to use the terrain, and there's no easy way to explain how to do this, but I had the most success by standing on a little bit of slope terrain like this and just dragging it towards me. It is trial and error, but you will manage it if you persevere long enough. Once you've merged them, snap the foundation back into place, and lo and behold, it looks slightly better, I suppose. Now, this is the point we should be at. Doesn't look too bad, does it? But we are going to have to scrappy it up a little bit. I'm not going to go overboard with it, but we are going to add a few little things. The same wall here, we're going to change it from a log cabin wall to a wooden wall. Jobs are good and Because we're not using this top half of the building for anything significant, we don't want it to be on shore. We don't want the inside being visible. So to remedy this, we're going to use the same method as what we used in the motel build. I'll leave a card in the top corner now if you want to take a look at that. We're going to start by removing these windows here. Sometimes you may have to remove the porch as well, but just try it without doing that, it does work occasionally. We're then going to grab a defensive junk wall and we're going to place it down roughly just behind where that wall piece is going to sit. Now, this is going to take some jiggery porkery to get it lined up right. The log cabins are particularly hard to do this. The junk walls tend to stick through it more than any of the other build sets. But once you think you've nailed it, just destroy the junk wall and put down your log cabin wall over the top of it. And with any walk, it should look like the windows have just been boarded up or sheet steeled up in this case. Now, you see, don't look too bad, does it? I'll just go ahead and do the other one now. And this one looks even better. It looks like it's still got some glass in the window. Absolutely perfect. Onto the roofs. And it's quite simple, this bit. But we are going to make it slightly more complicated by putting in a chimney. So step one, put down some flat roofs all the way across. Step doors. Change this one in a corner to a slopey boy and grab yourself a fireplace. We're then going to merge another fireplace into this stone one because it's got smoke coming out of it like a fireplace should. Now, I've covered this merge glitch many times. I'll leave a floating card to an actual video where I show how to do it. So I'm not going to go into detail here, but basically get the two items that you want to merge together, slap them down on the pressure plate and make sure the pressure plate is pressed down. You can stand on it or you can use a mannequin because the register is NPC for some strange reason. They must have escaped from that container in Fallout 4. Either way, once you've got it pressed down, just pick up the item and drop it. And just keep repeating that over and over again. And the item on top will sink into the item below. Dead easy. And look at that, we've got ourselves a functioning chimney. We can now change the outer roofs into slope ones. Leave the middle ones alone, we're not going to be touching them. And we can continue building slope roofs all the way up to the point, just like that. When we get to the fireplace, so we're not going to be able to put a roof in over it. So just destroy it with a flamethrower trap and then you should be good to go. Now, well, obviously, we're going to have to fill in the gaps with some more roofs, aren't we? You know, some flat pieces. But you can't put flat pieces under these sloping pieces. So we're just going to destroy the outermost slopey boards with a flamethrower. And then we should be able to put flat pieces directly underneath them. Once that's all sorted, you can repair all your roof pieces and it's done, completed. So now it's just a case of tarting it up a little bit, really. So we're going to go back underneath the map and on this wall here, we're going to place down a junk defensive wall. And on top of that, we're going to place down another. And now when we come outside and take a look at the end result, you can see the defensive wall is sunk into the ground, just like the rest of the build. And while we're out here, we may as well throw down some of the cage board whites, aren't we? A build is not complete without these bad boys. I also want to wall off our little entrance area here near the base slash cello, whatever the bloody hour it is. And again, we're just going to have to go underneath the map and we're just going to wall up our stair area. It's as simple as that, guys. If you put down a doorway at the bottom of the stairs and you find you can't go up and down said stairs, either change the staircase for a different one. If that doesn't work, just flip the wall around so it's facing the opposite direction. One of them two things should fix that issue. And to finish up the build, all you've got to do is put down some roofs in here. Nothing difficult to it, just place them down as you would any other roof. And now we've got to choose a design. And I've come up with something, it's not brilliant, but I'll show you what it is now.
there you go, guys. I made a ski shop. I know it's not very original, and there wasn't actually much decoration I could put down there, but them new skiing posters are bloody fantastic, and I just had to use them. But yeah, that's it from me. If you did like the video, please hit that magic like button so I know that I'm doing an half decent job. And if you want to see weekly Fallout 76 content, please consider hitting that subscribe button too. Can we make it to 6k off this video? Who knows? I guess we're going to find out. Anyhow, as we say in the north, I will love you and leave you, and I'll catch you in the next video.